Crunchtime Kitchen, it's all about using your melon. And this melon that we're talking about is, of course, the watermelon. Mm. It's called a watermelon because it's actually 98% water. So it means it's perfect for making punch. <laughs> now, have you had much punch in your day, Maddie? Um, not much, but I have tried it. Excellent. What about <laughs> and what about you, Michaela? No, not really. So the first thing to do with this punch is very carefully get a grown-up to help you because they are trickier than they seem. We're going to cut around the outside because we're going to use this melon. It's very 70s, this recipe. We're going to use this melon as a bit of a bowl mm. later as well. So, Maddie, you and I are going to get on to scooping out the flesh of the melon. Meanwhile, I'm going to get you two onto picking that mint for me. So this one is called spearmint. You can see that because each of those little leaves looks like a spear and it's got quite a sweet flavour. Cool. So, All right, okay, there we let's go. get picking. Terrific. Now, that goes into the blender as with all kitchen appliances. Make sure you've got a grown up supervising because uh, not this grown up, of course. Nick, <laughs> you can't be silly with electrical appliances because there's sharp blades Absolutely. inside. So be really careful. Couldn't agree more, huh? <laughs> How's that smelling? Oh, yum. Yeah, that's no good, doesn't it? Now, I'm going to get onto this lime juice as well. All right. Now, that smells like it's happening. Yeah, it sure speaking, is. Speaking of smells, we've got the mint, we've got this lime that I've been tenderising. When you do this just before you juice a lime or a lemon or any citrus, you're actually uh, making it much easier to juice as well as releasing a lot more of the aroma. So that's why we do that. Very carefully going to slice these limes in half. Great. So Nick, what are you doing over there? I'm just um, getting the old spatch in there just to break it up and get some of the, the wet bits a little bit higher mm, up. Great idea. That's exactly what you should do, but obviously carefully and often um, depending on the type of machine, you don't want to pop anything in there, but this one is good. Great. That looks All like right. that'll probably work, I think. Yeah, it's good. I think so too. Take five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maddie, you want to swap over? Yeah. Great. I'm going to get you to oh. juice these lines for me. There we go. Just like this? Yes. Great. Done. Yep. Great. Lots teamwork. of pressure. It's as oh. easy as that, really, Alice. <laughs> um, when you do this at home, if you don't have a blender, you can actually just pass it through a sieve or even just squelch the watermelon in your hands, you, just you like that. The and the juice comes out the other end. <laughs> so Michaela's going for the pour here. From a height? A bit higher up. Yes. You need to let it run through, so a bit higher up. Gorgeous. That's it. And Nick, what did you say you need to let it run through? How come? Well, you just don't want to have any big chunks in there. Exactly. So nice gentle taps instead of um, trying to squish. Absolutely. We'll just give that a little wriggle. Make sure there's no pith in it. There we go. Do you want to give that a bit of a shake? My shaking technique isn't working <laughs> very well. Alrighty. <laughs> now... It looks like it might be time. Nice job, that's going cool. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's just keep squeezing that lime juice into here. Lovely, I think that might it's be quite, just quite enough. It's shaking now. I'm going to get some mineral water from the fridge. Sounds like a plan. I'm going to get juicing with my hands. This is a great forearm workout too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how's that looking, Maddie? Yeah, pretty juicy. Very yeah, juicy. Agua Lovely. fresca, as they say in... Yeah, what does agua fresca seven. mean? Well, it's referring to the freshness, obviously. Uh, agua in Spanish meaning water, fresca. Uh, I'm not sure if that's melon or fresh. It means fresh, yeah, ah, absolutely. So fresh so water. Fresh water. Um, and interestingly enough, back in the day, these sorts of things would have been fresher than the water itself. <laughs> We're very lucky these days to have fresh water available to us. There we go. All right, so... I think just swap you ready to again. pour that in? <laughs> Maddie, you do you want to pour that in there? OK. Great. Look at that, Great the pink job. and the green. Yeah, nice. just pop the mint in as well. Great. Now, if you want the recipe for this, head to our website. Tell you what, this is going to be so agua fresca. And we've got so some mineral fresh. water. How much mineral water, Sarah? Just um, start pouring. Yeah, that's, that's just enough. Lovely. Stir mm. that in again. And give it a taste. Often, watermelon's so sweet, especially in summer, you don't need to add extra sugar to it. Um, and that's just about ready to go into the watermelon. Mm. Great. And Maddie, you can help me garnish. Let's pour that into the watermelon now, Michaela. 
Again, from a height, Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe from lower than Nick tells you to. Get that in there. Maddie, let's right, start garnishing. Right. We've got some little melon balls, some lime, <laughs> some lime slices. Great. Oh, this is oh, so cool. Look See? That. That's looking divine. And I think what we'll do is we'll pop a few of these melon balls into each of the glasses. They're acting like ice cubes as well. They are, exactly. Speaking of ice cubes, you can pop ice cubes in as well. <laughs> there we go. You can even pop some iced tea in there. <laughs> Great. Let's okay. start popping some more in. And ladle this in. <laughs> ladle, ladle, ladle. <laughs> Straight in there. Yes. Ooh, that looks fantastic. What do you think, girls? Does that look like something you might serve up at a summer party? Mm. <laughs> yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you can put other ingredients too in there, of course. You could add some blueberries if you wanted. Yes. Mm, absolutely. Um, some strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, any, anything else? Yeah, I'm oh, sure you could. I'm going to be ordered in there. Yes, any sort of melon would be perfect. Any sort of watery fruit or even something like cucumber. You could make this with fresh cucumber juice. Um, and speaking of cucumber, you have remained cool as cucumbers making these. So I think it's time to cool down even further and drink these yeah. as you have a little break of your cells. See you soon. Come on, come on, crunch time.